Hello, this is Andy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a full player video slide in Articulate. And I often use these for like an introduction and conclusion, but you could place one of these anywhere in your presentation. So to show you what I'm talking about, um, here's a presentation I just created where you launch it and you've got this full screen video going on, um, filling up the player area. And then once you proceed to the next slide, it switches back to that standard Hi, mode, and you can see that um, the outline's back, and uh, everything remains like this throughout the presentation until we get to the end when we go back into this uh, full screen kind of closing recap. And I decided to give this a try when I was looking at the really great um, cheat sheet that Jeanette Brooks put together with all the recommended sizes for the various elements um, within all the different studio programs. And uh, she actually published that as a blog post, and you can check it out at this handy link if you're interested. But videos in no sidebar view here, 980 by 560, I wanted to see if that worked, and it turns out it's pretty easy to do. Now this effect really relies on having the, this no sidebar view mode applied to any slide on which you want to show a large video like this. So the first step is to remove this change view mode button that would normally be down here. So your user can't be changing view modes on a slide that's supposed to be full frame like this and end up with it cropped and looking silly. And depending on what you're trying to achieve exactly, there might be other ways to approach this, but um, I usually find it easiest to just go under the player template settings and under player controls, uncheck this change view mode button, and uh, take away that control from the user. So the second step is to actually insert our flash movie. Here's the first slide of the presentation. You can see that it's completely blank, and that's because it's actually going to flash for a split second as the video is loading, so we don't want anything goofy looking on there. Um, I've actually output my flash movie directly from Final Cut Pro, my editing software, at 980 by 560, that, that maximum size. And you could also use the Articulate Video Encoder program to create a video at this size. You can see in the preview here that it looks squished, but it's not actually going to display that way. Um, it centers it up automatically, and you can see it's overlapping the frame, but it's actually going to play just fine when we go to publish. And it's really only videos that are going to work at this large size. If I were to insert an image at this size or any other sort of graphical elements that fall outside of that underlying frame, they're going to be cropped off, um, even in the no sidebar view. Now you might have noticed that I do have some buttons on this slide, and those are actually just two invisible text boxes um, that are hyperlinked to different parts of the presentation. And actually, if I turn off this uh, video layer, you can see I've just got these two text boxes in there that just are aligned with the uh, button images that appear in the video. Now just for comparison, uh, there is a video on the second slide of this presentation as well. And as you recall, the second slide actually switches over to that standard view. So this video had to be created at that 720 by 540 size. And once I've inserted this, you can see that I've got the um, small video and the large video, which brings us to the next step, which is setting our slide views. Now, if we go into the slide properties here, we have the option to change the view for any of our slides. Um, what I've done here is I've set this first slide to the no sidebar view mode and the second slide to the standard mode so that it'll switch over. Um, I don't have to worry about setting the rest of these because uh, we've taken away the uh, control of the user to be able to change the view mode from the ones that we've determined. Now, I've also got this video slide at the end of the presentation set to no sidebar view. I've also set the slide preceding it to standard view. That way, if someone were to hit the slide and then go back a slide, they wouldn't um, remain in the no sidebar view. It would switch back to that standard mode with the outline on the left. Now, the last step is to set the starting view for the presentation. So if I go back into the, my player template options, you can see under the layout setting here, um, we've got our various view modes, and you can activate or deactivate those. Um, that's not so important because we've already taken away that control from the user. We just need to make sure any ones that we are using are checked. But what we're really interested in here is the starting view. And this is the view mode that the presentation is going to open up in. So because my first slide has no sidebar, I want it to open with this view mode. Otherwise, um, what it's going to do is it's going to open up with that outline on the left, and then the outline is going to immediately start sliding out of the way while the video is playing, and it doesn't look as professional. And with that, you're ready to publish. Thanks for listening, everyone. Feel free to comment if you have any questions, and good luck on your projects.